Yeah, we did it! Okay, now the question is, do we have music and game sounds on the YouTube stream? So if you are now watching on YouTube, if you are watching on the YouTube Shorts live stream, do you hear game sounds slash do you hear the music? Can you hear the music? Can you feel the music? Yes, you can? Oh my god, this is amazing. Guys, we are literally pioneers. We are literally... This is crazy. All right, guys, if you didn't know, I've been trying multi-streaming. Multi I'm streaming on Twitch right now, horizontally, and I'm streaming on YouTube vertically. And we're literally like... We are literally like wizards right now. We're, we're doing new things with OBS that no one even knew was possible. So I'm literally multi-streaming. Hopefully... Last, last time I tried this, you guys weren't getting anything but mic audio on the YouTube stream. Hopefully this time, it should be game sounds and music as well. So that should be pretty cool. Uh, Alright, that's crazy. That's, that's, some, that's some movie magic right there. That's pretty nuts. I hope you guys enjoy the experiment. Uh, I, will, I will do my best to, uh, to make this entertaining for you. And uh, after the stream today, I've got some pretty excited, uh, exciting people I'm going to raid. Um, we've got uh, Rebella is going to be streaming on Twitch. We're going to raid her, and then Pikapo should be streaming on YouTube. We're going to redirect to him. So stick around in both sides of the stream, because we're going to be raiding our friends afterwards. They're starting off a new SMP, the Slime Crime SMP. All of my moderators have gotten together and made their own little uh, vanilla SMP uh, together. So that should be really cool to see. But Mickle to Pickle, thank you so much for the two-pound super chat. Late, very late, 11 p.m. I need to sleep eventually. I'm sorry, Mickle to Pickle. I promise I will do some earlier streams at some point for my European brethren. Uh, I've just been having late starts to my days lately. Been grinding, been been staying up late and grinding. Um, okay, so we've got uh, a sit-down redemption. We've got a drink water. I'm gonna drink water. Um, and guys, there's a posture check. I'm checking my posture, and there was a stretch. Okay, guys, can I get a can I get a stand up in the chat, please? I am I am not trying to uh, to sit right now. Please use a keyframe frequency of four seconds or less. Currently, keyframes are not being sent often enough, which can cause buffering. All right, so are you guys getting buffering on the vertical stream? Is the stream buffering for you often? Is it laggy, guys, on on YouTube side? Let me know if the stream is buffering or vertical, or um, excuse me, obviously it's vertical. Let me know if it's slowing down or lagging or buffering at all. Yo, Jinxu, thank you for the resub, dude. That is, uh, that means a lot to me. Hello, Mog. Sorry I haven't been able to uh, be here in a while. Dude, That I'm just happy to see you again, Jinxu. No worries whatsoever. No worries dude, whatsoever. Right SMP gonna go hard with Rebella and Pikapo. Dude, Slayer, thank you for the two. Slayer's also on the SMP. Pretty hype stuff. Pretty hype stuff. If I do say. Yo, Oni Arrow, thank you so much for the two. Can the real Mog Shady please stand up? <laughs> Can the real Mog Shady please... Oh, Bartos, thank you so much for the stand-up redemption. I'm just going to keep standing. Thank you, Bartos. You saved me from having to sit down. I really don't want to sit right now. I'm in a very standy kind of mood right now. Smudgy, thank you for the five. Hey, Mog Swamp, it's me. I should be at school, but I'm r I'd rather be here and watch this. And how's the phone case? What do you mean, how's the phone case? That's a weird question to ask. Are you, you guys all made fun of my pink phone case. I, I posted a picture of me looking handsome on Valentine's Day, and my Discord took it, and all they all started making fun of my phone case. What is so weird about this phone case? They were all making fun of my phone case. Is it a weird phone case? What's wrong with it? I like it. It's unique. I always know where my phone is because no one else has this case. Am I so, am I so crazy for that? How was the after stream yesterday? It was very fun, Jinxu. We played some Stardew Valley with Rebella, and uh, we I basically just fished the entire time. It was probably not good content, but man, I love fishing in that game. I'm a fishing fiend in that game. Call me call me Bass Pro Shops, cause I've been cause I've been fishing in Stardew Valley. You know what I'm saying? Fishing in Minecraft couldn't be me. Hate it. Fishing in Stardew Valley. Now that's what I'm talking about. I love fishing in Animal Crossing and Stardew actually. It's, it's actually kind of astounding how bad Minecraft's fish mechanic is compared to Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley, because those are such simple little mini-games, but they get me so addicted to catching fish, whereas Minecraft makes me want to gouge my eyes out after the second cast. You know what I'm saying? Your phone case is great. Thank you. Thank you. 
It's beautiful? Okay, thank you guys. That makes me feel a lot better. Mog, how long would it take on uh, an estimate to complete Project Mega Hex? I think Operation Mega Hex is probably at least a five-year uh, project, if not a ten-year project, personally. Um, but if you're just talking about the preparation, if you're just talking about digging the dirt and clearing out all the slime chunks and stuff like that, probably like about a year. Um, since the last stream, guys, I actually have gotten a lot done, so you might not be able to see it from the map right now. But if I zoom in, you can see that I've actually placed these cross uh, lines on each of these triangles that we're filling in. So right now, this is Operation Mega Hex. It's a giant hexagon interlocking a hexagon that surrounds my base. And we have filled in one of the six triangles that forms the hexagon, the walls of the hexagon. And we've done almost another half triangle there. And this morning I went and I took the time to actually fill in all of these lines going up here in this triangle and all of the ones here as well. And uh, I was just starting to do the bottom triangle and then we just got to do this one right here and we should have all of our lines laid down. It's actually a deceptive amount of dirt that it takes to fill in all those lines. You wouldn't think it would be that much, but it, it just, it's a lot of dirt, okay? <laughs> it's, it's a lot, a lot of dirt. I'm disliking because portrait mode is cringe. If you do not like watching the stream in portrait mode, you can come join me on twitch.tv slash mogswamp. The URL is right under my head. I am, uh, I have a lot of shorts viewers, so a good way for me to do outreach is by doing these vertical live streams, and maybe you're, you know, maybe you're at work taking a little toilet break, or maybe you're at the airport waiting for a flight, uh, on your commute, who knows what it may be, but, uh, you know, if you're on your phone on the go, a vertical live stream is kind of a good way to just, uh, tune in for a few seconds, and, uh, it, it gives me a lot of exposure, because like I said, I have a really big shorts audience, and so all those shorts viewers of mine uh, get exposed to these vertical live streams. They find out that we uh, like to live stream over on twitch.tv slash mogswamp. They go and leave me a follow over there. And then bing, bang, boom, bada bing, bada boom. Before you know it, we're like a top Twitch streamer. That's the plan, at least. So I will I will keep you guys posted on how that uh, evil plan goes. Um, because right now, I think vertical live streaming on YouTube is so new that it's a bit of a growth hack at the moment. Uh, if you think about, like... YouTube is trying with its algorithm to serve people vertical live streams when they're watching shorts, right? But if there are only so many people doing vertical live streams at the moment, then whenever you go live with a popular subject like Minecraft, you're getting pushed out to all those people watching Minecraft shorts around the planet right now. You know what I'm saying? And that's a lot of people. At any one given time, a lot of people are probably watching Minecraft shorts on, on the planet Earth. And so it's sending me out to all those people. It's really, really good exposure for me. And then if you don't like the, uh, the portrait version of the live stream there's there's a horizontal version over on twitch so i think i feel like it works out for everybody bro is yapping all right all right that is what streaming is okay streaming is yapping what do you want from me do you want me to just sit here silently placing dirt and not saying anything ruthless thank you so much for the five i really appreciate it thank you for the money i love money Hey, Mog, have you ever met any of the Life Series members? Uh, Green, Scott, all of them? Uh, well, I've met the people that I know on SOS. So, you know, Scott and Smallish Beans and, um, you know, th those, uh, those friends that we've made on the SOS server recently. But I haven't really met any of the Hermitcraft guys. I've talked to B-dubs a fair bit in the DMs, and I talked to Vintage Beef a little bit. Uh, but I think those were the only guys I really ever spoke to. I would love to meet some of the other ones, though, because the Hermits are really cool creators. Maybe we'll get introduced to them at some point. Um, because, uh, yeah, I've been watching some of them for years. I've been watching B-dubs and Etho for probably 13 years. Uh, and same with Doc M. Those were the first three creators I ever found doing Minecraft, were Etho, B-dubs, and Doc M. Uh, actually, probably B-dubs was the third. I think it was Etho and Doc M first. Oh, and, and a, a Zuma Void. Those four were like the first four guys I ever found on, on Minecraft YouTube. Very inspiring creators for me. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, be nice to Mog. Yes, please be nice to me. Seal Listen to Seal King. You missed a donation about the phone case? I'm so sorry, Smudgy. What did you say? I missed it. Ugh. And you missed Doggy Tamer Super Chat? Did I? Doggy Tamer says I got the job. Yo, that's awesome, dude. Congratulations. No, the, f the phone case you promised me, the Mog case? Oh, Smudgy. Wait, what are you... Wait, 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 wait. Like a Mog-themed phone case? Smudgy, I don't even remember this conversation that we had. But thank you, too, for the Super Chats. I really appreciate it. Bro's built like Jeffrey Dahmer? Okay, I'm not built like Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm just wearing s yellow sunglasses, all right? There's a... <laughs> I know that these are the school shooter sunglasses. I know, I know. But they are my swag. They they are my swagu. Kalani, thank you so much for the five. Uh, my name is pronounced Kalani. 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 
I, I said it pretty good, right? Kel I said Kalani, and I, it's actually Kalani. So I, I, I was really close. Um, your streams have helped me with building on my own Minecraft server. Well, that's great to hear. I'm always trying to inspire. Anytime you have a question for me, just let me know, uh, Kalani. Kalani. Oh, God. I can't. I can't. Be nice, everybody. Please be nice. Please be nice. Mog, do you do any sports? Not really. Not really. Um, I just I just bike a lot and run. Uh, but no, I'm not really a sports guy, to be honest. I'm not very competitive. I'm a very... I'm a, I'm a creative mind, and I don't really like competing for things very much. I ended up... Uh, I end up getting frustrated. Uh, the school shooter sunglasses? Mog is a whole different animal while live. Dude, I am. I am a different person while live. You guys don't know, but like in real life, I am, I am a bro. I chill. I swear like crazy. I try to keep it clean on the streams and the videos for you guys, but um, yeah. Yeah, no. I was, just, I was just being funny. But they are, I feel like they are like the shooter sunglasses. I don't know why, but they, they are my swag for sure. Another posture check? Okay, I'm gonna try to stand up as, as straight as I can. Thank you for the choo-choo, Jinxu. <laughs> Game sound, background music, Twitch notification sound, and Mog speedrunning chat. Yep. We're just doing it all. We're a multimedia stream right now, okay? Mog, is this supposed to be in a YouTube Shorts format? If you don't like the YouTube Shorts uh, format, you can come over to twitch.tv slash MogSwamp. I am simulcasting. I am horizontal over on twitch.tv. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, for YouTube, I'm switching over to hor uh, to vertical live streams for a while just to see how it is. It's a new feature, so I wanted to be one of the early adopters. A little bit of a guinea pig for YouTube. It was something that my YouTube rep recommended I try out, and so I tried it out. And turns out you get a lot of views. So uh, just to be transparent with you guys, I like to be transparent with you guys. On a typical Mog Swamp live stream, I probably average like somewhere between 20 and 40K views on a regular live stream when I was live streaming horizontally. Um, the past two vertical live streams I've done, and I've only done two so far, both topped 130K views. Uh, I also typically get like maybe max 500 viewers at one time on a live stream on YouTube, but these vertical live streams have been peaking at around 1500 viewers. So we're definitely blowing my usual numbers out of the water with these vertical live streams, which is why I have been a little bit more encouraged to try it more often. So yeah, just have some patience. If you don't like the format, go over to twitch.tv slash mogswamp, catch me there. But uh, if you are enjoying the format, then that's awesome. I will be doing this a lot more in the coming days to just try to experiment with this new feature while it's, while it's still fresh. Are you an enjoyer of pineapple pizza? Noel Kitty, I've never tried it. Would you recommend that I try it? I would love, uh, I would love your feedback. I, I, in my head, I feel like I wouldn't enjoy it very much. I don't, I like when I want a pizza, I want it to be salty and greasy and garlicky. I'm not like a sweet, I'm not like looking for a sweet pizza. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want my pizza to be sugary at all. So like, I, I don't think it would taste bad, but I don't think it's something that I would order um, ever. But like, if it was in front of me, maybe I would eat it type of thing. Hide bread in every short for a month. Now there's an idea. Would you guys like that? If I if I had some sort of hidden like Where's Waldo type thing in all my shorts for a month. The problem is I don't even post that many shorts in a month. I mean, I like there was a while there where I was trying to post shorts like every other day, and then I just completely fell off that. And now I post like three shorts a month. It's pretty bad. I should probably make more shorts, but. You know how it is. You know how it is. You get busy. Life gets in the way. It is what it is. Anyways, guys, we are uh, we are literally just placing dirt today. So if there's anything you want to ask me, any questions you have about what it's like being a content creator, what are my plans for my Minecraft world, anything like that, just let me know. If you want your question to be answered, uh, you can try super chatting. I will definitely see it if you super chat. But other than that, uh, you can just ask your question in the chat for free. And hopefully I'll see it. What are you doing? Uh, this is part of Operation Mega Hex. Operation Mega Hex is a giant, massive, giga, maybe even Terra project that I am embarking on in my survival super flat world. This is everything I've built in the last 12 years on my, um, on my uh, single player world. And I've decided to surround it with a giant hexagon, interlocking a hexagon. And we are basically going to terraform this entire area to have different regions, a desert region, a snowy region, all sorts of different stuff like that. I'm really, really excited. Um, it's probably gonna take me like at least five years to complete this project. And uh, that's the goal. I, I, 
I've so far I've spent uh, coming on 12 years in my world. It was started in May on May 7th, 2020, 2012. God, I can't even talk today. Uh, yeah, my world was uh, started May 7th, 2012. And uh, we're coming up on 12 years in the world. And I really want to make it to 20 years in my single player world. So in order to do that, I had to come up with a massive project that would keep me occupied over the next eight years. And uh, Operation Mega Hex is what I ended up coming up with. And I think it will keep us busy for many, many years to come. So, And hopefully it's kind of expandable too. So maybe we can even go further than 20 years in this world. Who knows? I really want to be like the, the guy with the oldest single player Let's Play in the, in the world. And I think, I think I'm, I have a good chance because as far as I know, the only guy with a longer running Let's Play world than me is Ethos Lab. And I'm assuming someday he's gonna retire that world. I think I can outlast him. So if I can just outlast Ethos Lab in this world, then I will have the longest running Let's Play world on YouTube. And that is a big goal of mine. I wanna have the, the longest, most insane single player world of all time. That is my goal. Because everybody else eventually quits their world or starts a new world. I want to be the only one, the only one who keeps going forever. Fizzle says, why does your map look like that? Thank you for the two. I have a Zeros world map. It's a mod that lets me um, view the whole world in a map. So it's not actually an in-game Minecraft map. It is a, uh, a plugin that I'm using and you can zoom in and out of it. These are all the explored chunks. So if you're talking about all the black, those are unexplored chunks. Only the green is where I've actually been in the world. Um, but yeah, this is the whole, this is the whole area. So right now we're standing way down here, way past everything else. And you can see old villages to prove my world. It really is as old as I say it is. Those are the old gravel road villages from way back in the day. Let me know if that makes you nostalgic. Uh, did you cause LD Shadow Lady to die? Yes, that was my fault, but it was not intentional. It was not something I did on purpose. I did not mean to kill her, but she got revived. So we're all good. We're all good. Uh, thank you for the drink water. I will, in fact, drink some water. Echo plays. I resub, but it didn't do the alert. Well, thank you anyways, Gamer Axolotl. Thank you for the resub. It really means a lot to me. I appreciate it so much. At this point, I'm surprised you don't dream about dirt while you sleep. Okay, so the thing, the thing is, um, I do dream about Operation Mega Hex all the time. In fact, last night when I was trying to get to sleep, I couldn't sleep because all I could think about was all of the areas of Operation Mega Hex that I want to work on. Uh, I was doing a little bit here. You know what? I'm going to take you guys onto my creative server real quick just to show you what I was working on last night before bed, which is probably why I couldn't sleep. I was doing just a little bit of terraforming with this new style I came up with. Um, it's, I'm trying to experiment with doing like a little forest. I really want it to go behind, um, I really want it to go behind my, uh, Withering Heights mountain. I want like a really big forest. So I was experimenting with a new block palette. We've got, um, light gray terracotta, uh, the packed mud, a little bit of coarse dirt. And you can see there we've got some grass, mossy cobble, moss, uh, green concrete powder, and some lime terracotta all mixing together. And then I made some spruce trees here, um, mostly out of spruce wood, but then we've got azalea leaves, mangrove leaves, and then moss with ferns on top, which just gives that little bushy look to the leaves. And when you really zoom out and go back, I feel like this is really working. I feel like we're doing something here. So this is an example of some of the terraforming I want to do around Operation Mega Hex. So I'll show you why I have, won't it turn to green concrete when it rains? I don't think raining converts concrete powder, but I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's just like actual water, not rain. Um, but yeah, I, I could show you guys real quick if we go back to the map. This area right here behind this giant mountain that I call Withering Heights, this is where I wanna do a really big forest in that style that I just showed you. So all the light gray terracotta, tons of spruce trees, I think like a really big forest area would go great right there. Um, anyways, I've got a, a few stretch redemptions that I owe. So we're gonna do a quick stretch, guys. No matter where you are, uh, whether you're on your phone, whether you're on your PC, just uh, just do a little stretch with me. We could all use a little stretch. It's important to stay limber. So I'm gonna do a little toe touch here. Here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three. Whoa. All right, count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we come up slowly. Ooh, I turned so red from that. 
I turned so, so red. All right, there we go. Drink water already? All right, we're drinking some water. Do you have a dog or a cat? I have a cat. His name is Miko, and he's sleeping right next to me on my little desk there. I don't want to disturb him. Uh, but if he wakes up at any point during the stream, I will introduce you all to Miko. So stick around for that. LD Shadow Lady kind of thinks you did it on purpose. I know she thinks that, but I don't know what to tell her. I, Lizzie, if you're watching this, it was an accident. I, I, I think you're so cool, Skulk Slayer, and I just want to be friends, okay? Mog, if you can guess how many subs I have on YouTube, I will save up my Mog coins until karaoke. It's under 100. Okay, I'm gonna guess you have 37 subscribers on YouTube. 37, final guess. Lock it in. All right, let's grab some more dirt. Back to place and dirt here. Do you have any advice for people starting out on YouTube? I have so much advice for people starting out on YouTube that it's kind of hard to like put it all into words. So what I usually say to someone who asks me that question is, what are you struggling with specifically? Is there anything that you really need help with? Thumbnails, titles, intro, like what part of it are you finding the most troublesome? I can probably give you some more specific advice if you let me know what you're struggling with. How many of your builds would you say be based off TV or movies? I basically get 20% of my builds on The Walking Dead. Um, I don't know. I don't know that I could put a percentage on it. Like, I think every one of my builds has a little bit of inspiration coming from something I've seen. Like, for example, I played Hogwarts Legacy last spring, and it directly inspired me to do this uh, greenhouse build over here because the greenhouse area of uh, Hogwarts in that game was so beautiful. Um, so, yeah. There's definitely a lot of places I take from for inspiration. Studio Ghibli films are a big source of inspiration for me. Especially the uh, the architecture in those films. Oh, Kiki's Delivery Service. Man, the city in that film. Now that is right up my alley. Favorite ice cream flavor? Easy. Chocolate chip cookie dough. It's really the only good answer to that question. Aside from working on, aside from Mega Hex and dirt removal, are you working on any new buildings in the central city? Like when you did the Victorian houses and the sawmill. Yeah, so I have been working in creative mode on a few things around the city. Um, I think probably the next thing we're gonna do is all the interiors for, because all of these buildings that you're seeing here lack interiors right now. And I wanna make sure that my world has full interiors on absolutely everything. So I think the next area you guys are gonna see me really flesh out is probably the opera house that's gonna go right here. Um, and then there's gonna probably be a large hotel next to the train station on this level. Maybe some more row houses along this strip right here. So probably fleshing out this entire side of the city is what's gonna come next. Other than this little macaroni shape right here. Like I really wanna finish off all these interiors, do the opera house, the big hotel, fill in some housing here. And hopefully this half of the city will be pretty much done very, very soon. Um, but that's probably not for another couple months because my anniversary of the world is coming up and I've got some special things planned for that. So we've got a few other projects we need to get through first. How much RAM does your PC have? Just wondering. You can find all of my PC specs in the description for this stream that you're watching right now. And you'll also find an affiliate link for Ironside PCs. They are who I partnered with to build my PC. And uh, yeah, they are really, really awesome guys. I, they're actually local to where I am in Austin, Texas. Um, so I got to go to their office and visit them. They're all super cool people and they're very, very talented at making computers. I used to advocate to build your own PC, but I think these days it's gotten a little bit more complex to try to build your own PC. And uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend doing a pre-build if you're not comfortable. And uh, you, can't go, you can't go wrong with Ironside, check them out. Do you ever get tired of building? I do get tired of building. And that's usually when I just switch off to doing something else like uh, <laughs> Austin, Texas, J Schlack collab when? Yeah, I I've never talked to Jay Schlatt. There's actually a lot of content creators who live in Austin, but I don't know most of them. The other day, Emiru and um, Extra Emily did a, a pop-up in downtown Austin at a restaurant, and I literally ended up going to it and getting lunch, and it was pretty fun. Uh, but yeah, no one, no one knew who I was. I don't get recognized. I, I think you guys think I'm like a celebrity. I literally have never been recognized other than one time at Vid Summit. 
which is like a convention for YouTubers, so it kind of made sense that I got recognized there. But other than that, like, I've never just been recognized out in the wild. I feel like people probably know my channel and, like, my Minecraft skin, but not, like, my face. Viewer from Germany? What's up, Germany? How's it going over there? Did you have a good day in Germany? When you gain access to the previous unobtainables in 1.21, how much do you think you'll revisit old builds to use them? Or do you just going to use them in uh, new builds? Um, I, I think about this a lot, Kez, because there's like a lot of projects I do where like a new block will come out in the game and make it. So I'm like, ah, oh, I would have used that block instead. Um, and I think like it, it's going to be a little mix of the both. Like there definitely are some things I will go back and use the new blocks on like I, I can think of a few areas where I want to put um, tinted glass in my world um, I can think of a few areas where I would love to put some scaffolding as decoration um, there's definitely some areas where I'd love to put some deep slate instead of blackstone roofs like for example on all of the houses uh, the Victorian row houses like they're all black roofs I would love to just take like one or two of these and replace it with deep slate just for a little bit of variety so we're probably going to do a little bit of going back through old builds and updating them with the new blocks but not a ton not a ton like it'll probably be pretty like pretty case by case hi from India what's up India how's it going over there Cool to it's cool to see I got viewers all over the world. What part of Mega Hex are you building? Right now we are in the lower triangle, as you can see. We are in the middle of the lower triangle. Facing no man's land back this other way is towards the base. Uh, and yeah, you can kind of get a sense of scale when I turn this off and you can see I was trying to copy the line from the hexagon down to the bottom of the world there. You know, guys, before I was thinking that I was going to try to dig out all of the area under these triangles before actually placing the triangles themselves, because what happens is once I place this dirt, it gets dark under there and it becomes a massive mob spawner. But instead, I think my plan has changed. Instead, what I think I'm going to do is simply create a mob switch to make it so that mobs don't spawn. And then once the triangles are all in place, I will go and delete the dirt underneath them once I turn mob spawning off with a mob switch. Um, I think that's probably the better way to do it because otherwise I'd have to do so much digging before I could even get to placing these triangles. And the problem is storing all of the dirt. Like right now I have about three double chests full of shulker boxes, but um, I don't have a shulker farm or anything like that. So three double chests is a lot less than it sounds like. Uh, like three double chests of dirt is like maybe one of these triangles. And so, um, yeah, I basically was running out of space to hold all of my dirt and, uh, I just decided to start placing it all so that I can empty my shulker boxes out again. Um, so yeah, I'm probably just going to make a mob switch when I comes when it comes time to clear out the area below these triangles. Hi from Russia. Privyet, privyet. Как дела? Доброе очень. Доброе очень. That's, oh, доброе утро. Доброе очень. That's not a, that means nothing. I think I just said good very. I don't even know what I said. Dobre utra. Dobre utra. I can't. Oh, God. My American accent. Das Vidania. Hi from the UK. What's up? Hi from New Zealand. I got a Russian bear. A medved? Look at my builds on Twitter. It's called I'm Smudgy. I will check you out on Twitter um, after the stream, dude. Thank you for the super chat. Twitter's actually not a bad place to reach me. If you tweet at me, I usually see it. Because I don't get that much uh, activity on Twitter. I've, I've got a pretty small Twitter presence. Someone redeemed Visit Flatnet? Oh my god, you're right. Yes, uh, Escape Ghost. Where would you like me to go? I'm so sorry I missed that. Uh, also, a drink water from Nomeo. You got it. Uh, and a posture check. I'm doing my best with the posture. Thank you, Elliot Stars. I'm standing up as straight as I can, like a soldier. All right. Um, escape goes. Let me know who you want me to visit on Flatnet. 
Put the username in the chat. So, guys, uh, if you didn't know, if you're watching over on Twitch.tv, um, you can redeem channel points for certain things in my chat. And one of the things that you can redeem is a visit to my server called Flatnet. It is a public uh, super flat server available for both Java and Bedrock Edition. So you can join no matter what. Free to play. And we've got a pretty big community of people. It's like really the only big super flat survival server in existence. Um, so we're going to go over there right now and uh, check out anybody's house. Okay. Uh, Escape Ghost says anywhere. So we're just going to check out a random person's base and see what happens. Although, I don't know why my game is frozen. Oh, authentication servers are down. I'm sorry. Oh, no. That's not my fault, though. I can't do anything about that. Is it becoming possible to get Deep Slate on Super Flat? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. In Minecraft 1.21, the trial chambers have a room where you can grab some Deep Slate. So, we will finally be getting Deep Slate for the first time in Minecraft 1.21. Pretty hype. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I just, uh, I guess, I guess the authentication servers are down, so I cannot hop on Flatnet at the moment. A if any of my mods can actually refund Escape Ghost for that Flatnet redemption, that would be super duper helpful. Mods in the chat, if anyone can figure out how to refund Escape Ghost, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. If not, then I'm sorry, Escape Ghost, you're just gonna have to hold that L, because I don't know how to refund people. <clears throat> My favorite live series member is Big B, and I think you two would work really well together. Yeah, I've, I've seen Big B in the live series. I don't know how, um, I don't know, like, where did, how did Big B meet all the other people in the live series? Because uh, I haven't seen him in any of the other, like, I know he's not in Hermitcraft. <clears throat> I just saw your YouTube channel, Nice Buildings, bro. Thank you, have a seat. I really appreciate that. That is very kind of you. Why vertical? Vertical live streaming is a very new thing here on YouTube, so it's just a little thing I've been experimenting with lately. I've been getting really, really good numbers and good feedback from people on the vertical live stream, so we're just trying it out. If you don't like the vertical format, though, I will say I am simulcasting to twitch.tv slash mogswamp, and it is a horizontal stream over on Twitch, so if you're not a big fan of the whole vertical live stream format, go over to twitch.tv slash mogswamp, leave me a follow, and you can watch the stream from there. However you prefer to get your streams, I got it both ways, baby. Vertical stream looks nice. I appreciate it, dude. I put I put a lot of work into the setup. Look, I can do this. Whoa, I can do this. Whoa. It's kind of cool. I kind of like it. It's got a weird appeal to it. What is your favorite mob? Definitely the wandering trader. He's my he's my homie. Other than building, what's your favorite thing about Minecraft? Um, other than building, what is my favorite aspect of Minecraft? I don't know, dude. I just love building so much. I love terraforming. Um, but a terraforming is still building. So, what other aspects of Minecraft are there? Probably Probably my answer would be the technical side of Minecraft. Like, I'm not very good at redstone, but when it comes to, like, mob farming, I absolutely love mob farming. I invented a spider-only mob farm, like, 13 years ago that still works to this day. Um, I just, I, for some reason, I really like learning the, the mob spawning mechanics and learning how to abuse them. It is very, very fun for me. So coming up with mob farming designs and stuff like that. I wish I was better at redstone because those two things kind of go hand in hand. And I'm trash at redstone. But maybe, maybe, you know what? Maybe this is the year. Maybe in 2024 I'm going to become a redstone genius. You never know. Uh, give me one sec. All right, back to it. Uh, choo-choo, there was a choo-choo. There was a choo-choo. Thank you, Kez. <laughs> Big B is the most chill dude on the planet. In the live series, he was just vibing for most of it. That's awesome. I love, I love uh, people like that. Just big chillers. Big chillers. Yo, man, could you do me a favor? Can you probably, can you add something crocodile themed into your world? My little brother's obsessed with them. 
Um, geez, crocodile themed. Interesting request. Can't say I've had that request before. I'm gonna have to think about it. What, what sort of crocodile themed thing could we add to this world? I'm picturing like a giant crocodile's mouth as the entrance to a building or something. With some dripstone teeth. You could definitely do something crazy. I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about that one for a while. What uh, what are you going to eat after the stream? Wow, I that is not a question I get very often, but thank you for asking. Um, what am I going to eat after the stream? You know, I just had some Taco Bell for lunch. Taco Bell, one of the best places to go if you are a vegetarian because you can sub out the meat for beans. So I had some Taco Bell for lunch, but what am I doing for dinner? I don't know, guys. Last night I had ramen for dinner. Uh, we just ordered pizza the other night, so it's not a pizza night. What kind of a night is it, guys? Help me. Is it a pasta night? It might be a pasta night. Are we doing like are we doing like garlic bread and pasta tonight? What do you guys think? You're one of the best Minecraft builders I've ever seen. Egg the Gamer, that is so kind of you. Thank you so much for the kind words. I do appreciate it. How do you like your popcorn? Very buttery. Very buttery, and I don't like kettle corn very much. It's too sweet. I want salty... Salty ah popcorn, you know what I'm saying? What about eggplant parms? Mog, do you know about UHC Generations? It's a world started by someone named Flaming Moy, and when he died, he gave the world to another person, and the person that is next, and it's so and so it continues. Oh, that's cool. So it's like a hardcore world, but every time someone dies, you pass it off to the next person. That's a cool concept. I like it. I like it. Very cool concept. What do you guys think about that? W Gamer? I agree, I agree. How should my D&D &D campaign start? Ooh, I don't know. Maybe it should start with a spaghetti dinner. What type of pasta are we talking? I don't know. Maybe some tagliatelle? Maybe some rigatoni? Maybe some rigorous Tony? A good carbonara sounds so good right now. Honestly, it might just be a pasta night. Ow, 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 ow! Why? So rude. Oh, this song's a banger, guys. If you're just coming into the stream on YouTube, press one if you are just popping into the stream. I want some engagement in the chat. I, I, I see you lurkers. If you just popped in here, if you were scrolling through shorts and then all of a sudden you found the stream and you just popped in here, press one on your keyboard. Look at all those ones. Welcome to the chat, everybody. I hope you're having a good day, man. I hope you're having a good day. Whether you just scroll on by and keep watching shorts or if you stick around for a little while, either way, I hope you're having an amazing day, homies. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. It's a sunny day here in Texas. How is it where you are? Wherever in the world you guys are, how, how's the weather today? We're making small talk with chat right now. Hello, fellow Texan. What's your opinion on canes? Are you talking about like raisin canes? Never had it. Never had it. I am from New England, first and foremost. I was born and raised in Massachusetts, so I'm still pretty new to the whole Texas thing. And I moved to Texas right before the pandemic. I moved as a pescatarian. I was already pescatarian, which means I don't eat meat, I only eat fish. And so I never got to try like any of the famous chicken spots down here because I don't eat chicken. So sorry, hey, I'm so sorry to break you that bad news. What are we even filling in right now? Okay, we're just doing this random square. We should probably finish this square right there. Yeah, we should probably fill this in real quick. New England just got canes, really? New England has like no fast food. If you're from New England, you know what I'm talking about. There were just so many fast food chains that I heard about all my life that we just didn't have. There was like one Sonic in all of Massachusetts. There's like no, no Carl's Jr. or whatever it's called. No, uh, there's so many that we just didn't have. No churches, no canes. Definitely no in and out or what a burger. What is it about New England? Like, dude, the New England just hates fast food or what? Like, why? You know what we did have, though? We had this place called Friendly's, and oh my god, Friendly's is the greatest place on the planet. Okay, Amy Bunny with a flat net redemption. Uh, Amy, I'm sorry, but it, I believe the servers are down right. Oh, okay. Wait, we got through. We got through. All right. All right. Let's TP to, or let's toggle chat, first of all. Let's toggle PM. 
And then let's TP to Amy Bunny. Amy, thank you for having me at your base. Oh my gosh. Amy, are you the one who has been doing the Beezle Punk base? Yo, wait, first of all, this is insane. So guys, this is a completely vanilla survival super flat server. So everything you're seeing has been built in super flat survival on my server. There's about 39 people on right now. And this is Amy Bunny's base that she's just invited me to. Thank you for the flat net redemption, Amy Bunny. This is absolutely insane. This is like a better version of the centerpiece of my world with the green dome. That is so cool. It's very gothic, but I love the nature running up the side of it. Look at this. Uh, like we don't get spore blossoms on super flat, so you got to make do. Okay. Look at that. Those are very, very creative. Oh, and this is a really cool, like area for your base but now i want to go over i believe amy bunny is the one who has been working on a bezel punk build over here on flatnet and if you guys haven't been watching my sos series my new smp series i invented a new style called bill uh bezel punk which is honey plus you know bees whatever um it's b powered technology right so we've got the wandy t sign here oh my god that's so amazing wandy t right there here let me uh let me actually do a quick weather override because the rain is bothering me let's turn that on okay now we got clear skies um look at this moss over here dude this is this is so industrial uh this is so cool i love these like little floating platforms you got for your farms with the honey on the side very very bezel punk themed i'm loving it I'm loving it. Oh, and look at this giant Bezel Punk airship. That's something I haven't tried yet on the SOS server, but I really want to make an airship. Oh my gosh, this poor, this poor little sheep. This poor Jeb sheep. What have you done? Dude, this is amazing, Amy Bunny. Thank you for inviting us over. I am super blown away by this build here. This is absolutely incredible. And uh, and I, this one too, I had, I had not seen this. This is like really, really good. I want to build something like this in my world now. You got me up feeling all inspired. And look at that. We make do on super flat without deep slate. They're using mud, basalt, uh, uh, the, the gray concrete powder, and the cyan terracotta there. I love it. So creative. Anyways, thank you, Amy Bunny. Um, oh, wait. That is not Amy's base. Read the signs. Oh, God. No, it's not me, though. It's my friend. Well, it's friends of Amy's, okay? Let's see. Who's is whose? This is uh, built by charlatan23. No schematics. Wow, that's impressive. Wandy T Memorial Service. Respect the departed. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Got it. And then what's this way? Is this also Charlatan's build? Oh, yeah. Okay, here's Charlatan right here. Well, Charlatan, you popped off. Thank you, Amy Bunny, for inviting me over to see this. <clears throat> um, this is absolutely incredible. Um, but for now, we're going to head back into the flat world. And we have another stretch redemption, so we should do that really quick. Uh, this time, I'm going to do a thigh stretch. So... If you'd like to join me, here's how you do it. You you grab your foot and force it. Oh, force it back like that. You get a nice deep thigh stretch. We're going to count to five, three, four, five. Okay, now the other side. Here we go. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. All right. Dude, I'll need a hip replacement. It's good for you, man. You gotta stretch. You gotta stretch. Let's get back to the game. My eyes are up here, chat. There we go. Alright. Back in back in here, placing dirt, guys. How many people we got over on Twitch? We got 183 Twitch viewers right now. That is amazing. Thank you guys so much for the follows. I see a bunch of follows. Beat on for the win. Gravy, a Canadian man, Weirdo Duck, Greg is Epic, Zeke Flores, Gem does art. Thank you guys so much for all the follows. We broke 9,000 followers on Twitch, which feels pretty good. I know it's not like the 2.1 million we've got over here on YouTube, but still feels good so thank you guys so much i would love to hit 10k followers on twitch i think i think we're gonna hit it pretty soon because when i started stream we had like 9k followers and we're already to 9102 followers so thank you to all of the people who are coming over from youtube and uh and following me on twitch it does mean a lot to me i super appreciate it homies 
Eggs, bacon, grits, sausage. Colin Womack, thank you so much for the $2 super chat. What's your favorite horror movie? Hmm, favorite horror movie. Do I have a favorite horror movie? Um, do I have a favorite horror movie? I really did like, uh, was it called Us? That was really good. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, you just set up a Twitch account just to follow me? That is so kind of you, Canadian man. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. Um, the Orphan is pretty good. Haven't seen it. Oh my god. Everybody loved Babadook. Everybody loved that horror movie. Everybody said it was so good. One of the worst movies I've ever seen. No cap. Babadook is trash. I couldn't even make it through the whole thing. Uh, I'm not, like, the biggest horror fan enjoyer. Like, a horror movie enjoyer. Um... I guess I like some o older films. Like, The Shining is probably my favorite, I would say. The Shining's probably my favorite horror flick. Because it's very classic. SOS was a very good move. I wouldn't have found you otherwise. I'm actually loving all of your super flat content. Serious Laws, that is very, very kind of you and very good feedback for me. Thank you. I never know. You know, I, it's hard to gauge if, how much of my audience is enjoying SOS, how much it's helping my channel and my brand recognition and all that stuff. I mean, I think just personally for me it's already worth it just to have met all the cool people involved with sos and and you know having so much fun with the game again but from a you know from a job perspective as a content creator i think it's also been really good to introduce me to sort of a new side of youtube because i think i've for a long time been sort of lumped in with all the hardcore creators um who do sort of mega projects and uh, have like big hardcore worlds and are mostly playing single player and there's like a whole other side of Minecraft YouTube when it comes to like the Hermitcraft SMP style content and uh, I feel like I'm finally starting to tap into some of that side of Minecraft YouTube for the first time which has just been so cool because uh, it's like a whole other side of Minecraft YouTube that I never get to interact with you know what I mean so yeah I've been having so much fun with it thank you for the cool feedback um, all of the people on SOS I could just talk endlessly about how cool I think they are. I think, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of my first time being on a SMP with a bunch of other big content creators like this. And I think it's just really cool to be able to like talk to them about like the ins and outs of content creation and just have people who like know what you're talking about. It's really, it's really, really nice, genuinely. Um, Kuha, thank you so much for the Prime, dude. I really appreciate that. Uh, guys, if you do have Amazon Prime, it's a good reminder, you can get a free Twitch sub if you just link up your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch, it's free and it gives me free money basically. Plus you get the cool badge next to your name and chat so I can read your chat messages a little easier. You get the emotes and a bunch of other cool perks like that. So definitely if you have Amazon Prime already, it's a no brainer. Huge fan of SOS. It's so cool to see everyone's different stuff and your impact on the server is wicked in my opinion. You really think so? Oh my God, dude, that means a lot to me as a nerd. Like I don't, I, 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 it's my first time doing an SMP, so, like, I'm not gonna lie, I have, like, a lot of social anxiety about it. Like, I don't know if I'm doing too much on the server and being obnoxious. I don't know if I'm not participating enough. And, like, so you just saying that I'm having a big impact on the server, in your opinion, means the world to me. Because I'm just, I don't know, there's so much, like... I know I, 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 outwardly I am a very confident person, but on the inside, um, I'm definitely very much outside of my comfort zone with, with the whole SOS stuff. And I'm just, I'm trying so hard not to be annoying <laughs> and not to be like the thing. Um, yeah, I agree. I love your SOS videos. A lot of people who edit it a lot just get annoying, but you seem to edit just enough to be perfect. That's sort of what I'm talking about, right? I have a different editing style than a lot of the others. And I, I don't want to be that annoying guy. I don't want to be the guy who's like super annoying. So um, that, I, I really do appreciate that. Um, oh, someone says you, you mesh so well with the big names. You're going at it like a natural. Oh, thank you. You fit right in. You guys are so nice. You guys are so nice. I love seeing you branching off to other areas of the community, creating new ties with people and dabbling in different parts of Minecraft. Would love you to see you do more with the Empire's crew. Oh yeah, I definitely think 
even once SOS is over, I am going to maintain all of these relationships for sure. And and honestly, just the biggest shout out in the world to Fwip for inviting me and taking a chance on me. Because like, like I said, I'm very much outside my comfort zone. This is not my normal style of content. He did not have to invite me to the SMP um, by any means. And I'm so glad and, and grateful that he did. So a huge shout out to Fwip. We had a, we had a long chat in the fall about content creation and our different strategies. And we just sort of had a heart to heart about everything about content creation. And I just kind of mentioned to him offhand that I really wanted to make friends with some more people my age. Cause a lot of the Minecraft creators I know are sort of in the 18 to 20 age range, which is great. They're all amazing kids. It's just the, the issue is I'm a little bit older and I'm at a different stage in life where I'm like, you know, looking at, okay, I want to buy a house. I want to have kids. And most of the, most of my friends who do Minecraft creation are at a stage in life. That's like, okay, should I go to college or should I continue content creation? It's just a very, very different life stage. Right. And so I mentioned to Fwip that I wanted to branch out a little from my normal content. I wanted to start making friends with some of the older crowd and, uh, and yeah, he, he listened to that and he took it to heart and he invited me to be part of the SMP and I'm just like eternally indebted to him for that because it's been such an amazing experience so far. So shout out Fwip for real, for real. <sighs> Do you like Smager? He's one of my favorite YouTubers. Yeah, dude, Scott is like one of the most wholesome people I've ever met. He's just like, he come, you know, like you're never sure if someone's gonna act different um, in their videos than they do like like off stream or like off camera or whatever, but he is literally the exact same on camera as off camera. He is like just that gen, he's, he's just being his authentic self, 100%. I really like Scott. Um, <clears throat> How are you, Mog? I'm really good Expedition Airtime. Thank you for asking. And thanks for being here again. Alerts aren't working? Interesting, I don't know what's going on with my alerts. I'm so sorry about that. It might be because I'm multi-streaming. Not sure what's going on. Wow! Um. Everybody's always asking me about the Hermitcraft thing. I think like the thing is, guys, I don't really know a lot of the Hermits. I really only know Joel, who's the newest Hermit. And um, so it was. It would never be something that I reached out to Hermitcraft about. Like if they asked me, I would definitely think about it. Um, I used to. I used to tell people I don't. I don't even know if I could do it because balancing an SMP with my flat world would be really hard. And after doing SMS, SOS, I'm realizing I was right. It, it is really, really hard to balance my flat world and an SMP at the same time. However, being on SOS has been so much fun that now I'm thinking a little bit differently about it. And I'm like, okay. If I'm being realistic, I think if any big SMP like that really did invite me, I'd definitely consider it because SOS has been so fun. The, like the only reason I was comfortable doing SOS is because it's a short term SMP, like only lasts a couple months. But now I'm more open to the idea of doing more of a longer term SMP in the future, just because it's been such a positive experience for me. But when it comes to like Hermitcraft and all that speculation, like, I, I'd like almost prefer you guys don't ask me about it or like don't talk about it because it's like I don't want to bother them like I, I'm not asking to be in Hermitcraft I don't really know any of them I don't even know if I would fit in with all of them so it's it's like it's cool to hear that you guys would like to see me on Hermitcraft but at the same time like I just don't want to bother any of those guys they've got their own thing going um, so like I don't I don't ever want you guys to go and be like oh put Mog on Hermitcraft put Mog on Hermitcraft because there's like you know they've they've got full plates already they've got a full server I don't <laughs> like uh, I just don't want you guys to like bug them or anything like that or I don't want them to think that I'm trying to campaign to be on Hermitcraft or something silly like that like I enjoy their content if they asked me to be on it I would I would definitely consider it very very strongly um, but that's about all I can say on that. <clears throat> In that case, what about the live series? I, I feel like live series are much more of a thing on, that I'm open to because SOS is kind of like a live series. It's more of a temporary SMP. And I think that works a lot better for my channel right now because like I said, juggling a, a long-term SMP and my flat world would be really tough. But like with the SOS thing, I, I'm really enjoying knowing that it'll be over in a few months because it is a grind, guys. I've been grinding so hard lately to try to get you guys lots of uh, content on SOS. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> 
It is definitely like, I would definitely be more open to like a life series type of thing, something temporary than any sort of long-term SMP, like Life Steal or Hermitcraft. It would, that would be tough on me. It would be very, very, very tough to make a long-term SMP work, but I'm never gonna rule it out. I'm not gonna rule it out. Like I said, SOS has really opened my eyes to how fun SMP content can actually be. <clears throat> Is the chicken burger SMP still happening? I think we missed the mark on that. I'm pretty sure that it's over. It was a pretty short-lived SMP, and it just was really bad timing for me. I would have loved to play with some of those guys, uh, the Shorts Wars guys who are pretty close friends of mine, but um, yeah, unfortunately the timing was just a little off for me because I was starting the SOS SMP and I had some family visiting and there was just like a bunch going on for me in, uh, in February and March. <clears throat> ah. They've said before that hermits have to vote unanimously after one of them puts a name forward for new peeps to join. That makes sense. <clears throat> I would love to learn more about internally how they run that server because um, organizing that many people to do content together has got to be hard. I mean, like, I would just love to be a fly on the wall in one of their meetings and, and learn what they actually have, um, like, what what's, what their discussions actually look like on the back end. Because, um, yeah, or organizing a big server like that is not an easy feat. I mean, think about it. We've got, what, 14 people on SOS? And I think they've got double that on Hermitcraft. And even just organizing all of the SOS members to get together for an event is a whole ordeal. Because you've got time zones and different schedules, different people going on vacation. Like, it is it is really impressive what Hermitcraft pulls off with how many people they have. I would I would just love to, like I said, be a, be a fly on the wall during one of their meetings and, and learn how they pull all that off. Exuma made a whole uh, series of videos about the behind the scenes. Just went live. That's awesome. We're going to have to raid her in a little bit here, guys. But I still got some juice left in me. I really need to do some script writing for a video tonight. That's my main project for the night. When's the next 100 Days Super Flat? So, we've got 100 Days Tunneler's Dream about halfway done. It is in editing progress right now. So, um... That's actually what I need to be script writing for tonight. I need to write more of the script. So as soon as I get the full script over to my editor, 100 Days Tunneler's Dream will probably be about two weeks out. So I'm guessing 100 Days Tunneler's Dream will probably be before the end of April. And then we also have 500 Days with Hobby nearing its conclusion. I believe we're on day 80. I think we're set to maybe record tonight even. Um, and we usually do 10 day sessions. So this is probably our second to last session tonight. We'll have one more session and then wrap up filming. And then I can send it off to my editor for editing. And I'm going to be working on editing the SOS episodes in the meantime. So probably you guys can expect Tunneler's Dream before the end of April. Um, 500 days with Hobby, like end of April, early May. And in the meantime, one or two episodes of SOS coming out as well. And that, that'll probably be the next videos for the next month or so. Um, those have all been in production for a very long time, so I'm happy to finally get some of those projects finished up because we originally thought uh, 500 days were going to be out in like February, but uh, we ended up getting super busy, both Hobby and I, and we just couldn't record. Can you add a tunnel system and a secret lair under the Opera House when you build it? A reference to Phantom of the Opera? Dude, that would be so sick. I've never seen Phantom of the Opera, but I kind of know some of the songs. The Phantom of the Opera is there inside your mind. I missed a choo-choo? Oh my god, you're right. Oh my god. <laughs> you look pretty today? Thank you. Oh, that means so much to me, Kaz. Thank you. I try to look my prettiest every day. Just join the stream, may I ask what you're building? Yes, I am filling in a ton of dirt around Operation Mega Hex, my giant project in my 12-year-old survival super flat world. Right now, we are filling in dirt on these giant triangles floating in the air, but we just ran out of dirt, so we're actually gonna have to fly back to the base to switch out our shulkers real quick. So let's go do that in a sec. I'm just gonna turn down this music slightly. It's a little bit loud for me. Perfect. All right, let's fly back to the base and grab some more shulkers. Where are we going? This way? 
So there's an old school village you can see with the gravel, uh, with the gravel ground and the old villagers. I actually think you'd really fit it in, um, fit in with it if Whip did Empires Three. Your ability to convey story through builds would really get, would really gel with that SMP. Yeah, I mean, uh, dude, I never watched Empires, but after meeting all these people, I really want to go back and watch it because um, it just seems really cool what they do with like the storylines and the outfits and the like themed bases and stuff. Uh, th there's not a lot of SMPs that like go that hard with the storyline and stuff. <clears throat> Uh, can I get a look at the Spurge for a second? You got it, AJ. Let's fly over to the Spurge and give AJ a look. Here's the Spurge. In all its glory. Here it is. Hold on, let me, let me do a little landing here. Here is the Spurge. Here is the Spurge, and here is the Speeple. And it is actually a spider farm inside here. Although it's very, very slow. I don't even know if we'll see any spiders coming down. But in theory, world download, please. You can get the world download for this world on my Patreon for 10 bucks. Um, or if you're not trying to spend money, you can wait a couple months because I will be doing a world tour in either May or June of this year. And I will be including a free world download when I do the tour. So you can look out for that. I just saw a spider drop down. Looks like the farm is still working. Good to see that. Oh, is it full? Is the farm full? The string didn't get picked up. Is this side full too? No, that side's not full. Let's go check on the collection system. It's down here behind the pipe organ. It looked like it was full. Oh my, wait. Whoa, there is so much string in here. Oh my gosh. All right, we should move some of this string down, actually, so that it can fill up. Wait, how is there so much string in here? I'm so confused. Let's put all this string away. Wait, so why isn't it allowing things to come in though? Oh, it is, it is, okay. There we go, our storage was so backed up. Dang, dude. Here, I'm just gonna throw down all these shulkers real quick. That way we have the uh, the inventory space to do this faster. Okay, we're gonna take all that string, move it down to here. There we go, now we're collecting string again. Dang, I didn't know these were all full, that's crazy. I feel like the other side isn't full at all, I'm so confused. Wait, let me check. Is the other side just as full? Oh my god, it is. Since when? I must have AFK'd without realizing it at some point. Because, like, I thought these were, like, almost empty. Turns out I have a ton of string. Okay. Anyways. You should make some other goofy and creative build styles like Bezelpunk. I would love to come up with some more build styles. You know, obviously Bezelpunk isn't, like, the most original thing in the world. Like, people have done B-themed builds before, and it's basically just Steampunk plus B-themed. Right, so it's like, you know, people have done similar stuff, but yeah, I would love to do some more genre mashing and see what else we can come up with. Real quick, I want to shout out all the people coming over from the YouTube stream and following me on Twitch. Swords Go one thank you for the follow, Nightmares, Dama4, Mike0172, Ada Minen, Tie Die Tuesday, Dash1848, thank you, thank you all so much. I do really appreciate the follows on Twitch. The mods are hilarious. I love my mods. I love my mods very much. Always watching. Wazowski, you didn't file your paperwork last night. Don't let it happen again. Alright. You know who else didn't fire the paperwork last night? Voice actor. You know who else didn't file paperwork last night? 
All right. Let's take a look at the map. So, uh, we have now done lines on this entire triangle here. We've done lines on this entire triangle here. This one's almost done. And the bottom one, I think, needs lines on this side. So let's let's go ahead and do lines on this side of the bottom triangle, and then we might call it after that. Um, but yeah, I should have enough dirt now to do that. So let's take off. Who needs Hermitcraft? Mog Swamp, come to the regular show? <laughs> Dude, I would love to be on the regular show. Now there's something I would say yes to immediately. Broken Dude, Muscle Man, and the Monsters Inc. Desk Lady? I got a lot of impressions. If you guys didn't know, I've got tons of impressions. Mordecai, Rigby. Mordecai. Mordecai, Rigby. If you two don't put those chairs up, you're fired! I'm trying to hang with Margaret. Ham boning will save your life one day. Ham boning. A bunch of baby ducks. Send them to the moon. Mordecai, Rigby, what did you do do? I'm sorry. I will. I will stop doing random cartoon impressions from the regular show. Squilliam. Okay, I'll do one Squilliam. I'm so sorry. I will do one Squilliam. <clears throat> My band's playing in the Bobble Bowl next weekend. Hey, Squiddy, how's the cash register? Eight people signed the petition to change your totem to a sprite of your cat. But I like my totem. It's a goofy version of me. It's a goofy golden version of me. Look at, look at. Well, I guess you can't see it on YouTube. On the, on the, on the, um, yeah, you can't see it on the YouTube. But it's, it's me. It's a little goofy version of me. Oh, yeah, you can see it there. Yo, Pink has been a member for 22 months. Insanity. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dort. Dort. I think you miss your calling as a voice actor. I don't know. I think it's one thing to be able to do impressions of voices. I think what people underestimate about voice actors is that they're able to invent voices. Like, I think inventing a voice is a lot harder than just doing an impression of an already established voice. Especially, I, I think another aspect of, um, of uh, voice acting that people miss is, like, they can make their character sound happy, sad, angry... Like, I can really only do, like, one version of, like, Mordecai. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm, like, Margaret. Like, I can't do, like, an angry Mordecai or a sad Mordecai. Like, you really have to have a mastery of a character to play them in all their different emotions. Do you know what I mean? Can you do a Maul impression? Clone Wars version? I'm sorry, I don't. I don't know the voice. I'm sorry, uh, Kailani. But thank you for the two. I really appreciate it. SpongeBob. I've been trying to I've been trying to see if I have a plankton. I've never tried plankton before and then the other day I tried it for the first time and I was like, "Wait, there there might be something here." Be assertive. SpongeBob. The Krabby Patty formula. And there's like there's something there. If I workshop it a little bit and watch a little bit more episodes, I bet I could get something. I I bet I could get a plankton going. SpongeBob. He's got like a weird. Can you do an impression of your brother? I actually can't. I have no impression of you other than lie. <laughs> You've got mail. Uh, almost there, to be honest. Yeah, I feel like it's it's getting there. I feel like it's getting there. Be assertive. It's not quite there. It's not there. It's not there yet. The Krabby Patty formula. <clears throat> mm. 
What editing software do you use? I use Adobe uh, Premiere for uh, all of my compositing. If I need a special effect, I usually take it over to Adobe After Effects. Um, I also use Adobe Photoshop for graphics and Adobe Illustrator for graphics as well. So I really use all four very frequently in my video editing. Um, but the main ones are Premiere and After Effects and then um, a little bit of Blender as well. If there's ever a 3D shot we need, I'll, uh, I'll have my editor do that in Blender. Um, so that is the workflow. Really use it using the full Adobe suite pretty much. Dude, Johnny Silverhand impression? Who the heck is Johnny Silverhand? Sounds like a adult actor. <laughs> uh, what are you uh what are you building? I am working on Operation Mega Hex, a massive hexagon that I'm building in my survival super flat world. It is a really, really fun project. If you're joining me on YouTube and you're not uh, a fan of the vertical format, you can come find me at twitch.tv slash mogswamp where I am live horizontally. So you can come catch me wherever you prefer to get your streams. Rose, thank you for the five pound super chat. Dirt, <laughs> dirt indeed. Thank you, Rose. Can you shout out me and my and my cat? Her name is Dawn. Shout out what's up 2000 and, her, and their cat Dawn. Have you seen Top Gun Maverick? It's by far the best movie that I've ever seen in terms of dog fighting scenes. I have not. I've not seen either Top Gun, in fact. I should probably go back and watch the original before I see the new one. Some classic Tom Cruise action. So right now, guys, we're, um, we're not focused on filling in the dirt on these triangles. We're actually just putting the stripes. And the stripes are really just to break up these big spaces and make it a little easier on me. Um... So yeah, we're, we're putting the stripes in the bottom triangle at the moment. That's why I'm only going two rows at a, at a time. How long would this take? Jeez, it's it. I mean, the entire project's gonna take years, dude. Can you do an impression of Squidward's laugh? It's like, ha, 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 Something like that, right? <laughs> SpongeBob! Don't you two have any brains? Play Ark? Survival Evolved? Oh, God, I hate that game. It is like one of my least favorite games of all time. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Ark players. I'm so sorry. 22 shulker boxes crafted? Can you check your statistics for how many you've killed? 22 shulkers crafted doesn't sound right to me. Is it, where are you seeing that? Times crafted? How are you seeing that? I don't know where you saw that, homie. But you're looking for shulkers killed? I've killed... I've killed 1,086 shulkers. Oh, you've crafted 22. Okay, I was like, what? Sorry. Sorry, homie. I misunderstood. Where's the like button? That's a great question. Where is the like button? I don't know. I'm not seeing what you're seeing. Do you like ex extra mayo on sandwiches and pineapple on pizza? I do like extra mayo on sandwiches. Uh, I'm not... I've never tried pineapple on pizza. I'm not familiar with the way that it tastes. But I, in, my, in my head, I can like just taste it. I can imagine how it tastes. And I feel like it would be good, but that I wouldn't order it myself. Cause I, like, When am I going to be in the mood for a sweet pizza? When I order pizza, I want white white pizza. I like the white sauce. I don't like the red sauce. I like white pizzas with like tons of garlic. Maybe some maybe maybe a little margarita pizza. Have you heard you can get twi uh, tr Twidents? <laughs> Have you heard you can get Tridents in 1.21? I did hear about that. I'm really really excited. My first time using a trident in Superflat. It's going to be crazy. 
What's your go-to sub, sub slash deli sandwich? I mean, it's tough as a pescatarian. Usually I have like a tuna salad sandwich because really all the other deli meats are meat. <laughs> there's, there's like nothing else like fishy to put on a sandwich. I guess you could have like a cod sandwich. I don't know. But they don't sell that anywhere. When I go to Subway, I get a tuna sandwich. Ah! What's the plan uh, for Project Mega Hex after you finish the dirt? Uh, after I finish the dirt, I'm probably just going to start on the terraforming. So I don't know which area I'm going to start with first. And in fact, I'm probably going to start with the terraforming before I even finish the dirt. Just because I'll, I'll get bored, you know what I mean? Um, Hypersonic Megalodon, thank you for the five. Hey, Mog, what's the name of that data pack you use to check your light levels? Oh, Mini HUD. Mini HUD is the light level uh, data pack. It's not a data pack, it's a mod. But yeah, Mini HUD. You press HC and you get into the settings and then I do uh, light light level overlay or something like that. Or I think it's renderers. Light. Overlay light level. Set that to true. <clears throat> um, but yeah, no. I, I, I'll probably start doing terraforming and building in Mega Hex before I even finish the dirt. Just because uh, otherwise I'll get bored. Uh, and I don't know which area I'm going to tackle first. If you look at my master plan, there's like uh, desert over here. There's snow over here. And there's like uh, cliffs over here. I think probably the first area I'll tackle is like the big forest that I want to put here. I want to do a really, really big forest. So that's probably the first thing I'll do. Why is everybody asking me what I'm doing? I guess it's just Charlotte and Acumens asking over and over again. I'm, I'm, I'm placing dirt. Why Nightbot be lying to you? What's he saying? Oh, he's saying the server's down for maintenance? Whoops. We should probably fix that. What are you going to do when Mega X is finally done? Probably start a new giant Terra project. The grind never ends. I can't wait to be the only seven-year-old with a Minecraft world, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to keep it going. They'll be like, Grandpa, why are you still playing Minecraft 1? They just dropped Minecraft 4. And I'll be like, Wee. <laughs> Won't even say anything back. I'll just make that noise. Wee. You've got mayo. I've got mayo? Mog, do you want me to draw you with your cool yellow glasses on? Yes. I love these glasses. They're very... They feel very me. They make everything look so happy. All right, guys. I think when I get to the end of this line, I'm actually going to hand it off to my good friend, Rebella, um, over here on YouTube, and Picapo on Twitch. Those two, um, and as well as all of my other mods, have started a new SMP altogether called the Slime Crime SMP. And they're kicking off today uh, as launch day. They're all streaming right now. And I don't want to steal away their viewers. So I'm going to send you guys all over there very shortly. Hypersonic Megalodon, thank you for the five. You should tackle that big mountain scaffold first. After all, it's the reason you have to collect 50 million dirt in the first place. Yeah, that's true. I actually, like, before anything, I'll probably do this. Because um, I've got all the terraforming already planned out for, like, this whole... Probably, like, from here to here is, like, already planned out. Um, all the terraforming, so I'll probably handle this little region first, and then we'll get to, uh, the forest behind here. So, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. <clears throat> ah, all right, guys. I think... Oh, wait, there was a flatnet visit from a scapegoat. Um, all right. We will do that real quick, and then we will, um, try to wrap things up in a second after that. Uh, let you me... Got mail. So addicted to placing dirt. I can't stop. I can't stop. I can't stop. I can't stop. All right, escape goes. Who would you like me to visit? Hopefully you got refunded for your first attempt. I did get that email cache failure. I don't think I'll ever give up this world, though. I think that's the thing. But if I do, I'll let you know. All right, Escape Ghost says anybody. We're going to go visit anybody over on the Flatnet server. Let's check it out. This is my public Super Flat Survival server. Let's uh, TP to, we're just gonna hold down tab and 
Souffle 5506. Oh my god, they have a raid going. This is crazy. All right, where are we? Whoa. This is nuts. They've got like a a whole big base here. Okay, let me let me try another person. TP to Flatnet? Who's Flatnet? Wait, what it, what is happening? Oh god. I'm oh god, what I'm like inside of people. Spectator mode. Oh, they're AFKing, okay. Oh, this looks like a wandering trader farm. They've got multiple people <laughs> AFKing their wandering trader farm. Okay, let's do another TP. Who's it gonna be this time? Ooh, Nubsy. All right, TP to Nubsy. Hi, Nubsy. Um, oh, this looks like a void base to me. Hi, Nubsy. Oh, what's up, Nubsy? This is a void base. So one of the cool things about Super Flat, if, if you're uh, joining the stream and you don't know, is uh, Super Flat Worlds didn't get moved down in 1.18 when they moved the world height lower. So the the bedrock layer is still at Y0 on Super Flat, but you can build for another 64 blocks below bedrock. So a popular thing to do on my Super Flat server is to build hidden secret bases below the bedrock. So people will build, they'll break a block of bedrock, they'll fly down and they'll make their entire base under the bedrock in the void, which is super cool. It's like very, very unique thing you can do with Super Flat Worlds. Um, and this is a, one of the cooler voice bases I've seen. It looks like they've got a mob farm over here. This is probably a creeper farm, right? Yep. And then we've got um, a little bit of a fish tank. Nice big storage room in this castle over here. Although they've got slime spawning. Got to take care of those. Well, Nubsy, this is pretty cool. Thank you for the thank you for uh, the tour. I guess you didn't. I toured myself. I invited myself. But thank you, Nubsy. Thank you so much. All right, one more, one more person. I'm gonna hold tab and bam, Nature Guard. Nature Guard. What is Nature Guard working on on the server, dude? So many amazing bases that I've never even seen before on the server. Wow, that's a cool detail. Look at this compass rose that they built. That's pretty cool. Using the bone blocks or. Not bone blocks, it's quartz. Dingus. Wow, and look at the these are like greenhouses almost? That's pretty creative. And you've got your little farms in there. Oh, so this one's for like bees. And then there's like a greenhouse for nether items. I see, that's very, very clever. And what is this? This almost looks like a mob farm or a iron golem farm or something. Very, very cool. Love seeing what people are working on on the server. Thank you for that flatnet visit redemption escape ghost. I appreciate it. I have not watched Brooklyn Nine Nine Nine. I've I've gotten a lot of people saying I should check it out. All right, guys, that was a super hype uh, Flatnet visit. Thank you for that redemption. Always love going over to Flatnet and seeing what people are working on. Again, if you do want to join Flatnet, the IP is in the description of the stream or um, on Twitch. It's right below uh, the stream in the little panel that says server info. It's uh, free to play for both Java and Bedrock edition. So. You never know. J join the server. You might make some cool friends. It's, uh, I, what I say to people is like, if you've ever wanted to play Super Flat, but you're not really a single player person, then definitely try it out because it's a really good play. It's a really good way to get the Super Flat experience without being so solitary in single player. <laughs> but uh, anyways, guys, I think I'm going to have to wrap it up there because like I said, all my mods are streaming right now. I want to support them. I want to send you guys over there. So we are going to set up a raid to peek up, or, uh, sorry, on Twitch, we are going to raid Rabella. So let's uh, set that up right now and go show Rabella a ton of love for me. All right, we're going to raid right now. Goodbye, Twitch stream. Those, uh, the raid is happening in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and go. Goodbye, guys. Have fun. Okay, I should probably make, I don't have enough iron. Like, hey, like, hey, like hello. oh, Rubella. there's people running at me. Hello. Oh my god, hi! Oh, Voxone, thank you Wait, so much for the stuff. raid! Mm -hmm. Welcome in! Rad. Hi! Go, go, go. Hello! Oh, she, doesn't, she doesn't have anything. <laughs> cool so everybody just went over to rebella that is awesome guys um yeah the whole twitch stream just went over to rebella she's got 150 viewers over there on twitch twitch.tv slash rebella rose if you guys want to go join that one um but here on youtube we're gonna raid my friend Pikapo because he is also streaming the same event so if you uh if you want to see all of my mods 
playing in a regular vanilla world for the first time because a lot of these guys are super flat players they've never actually even played the vanilla game for for years so that's why they all started the smp together so i'm going to send you guys over there now and uh thank you for joining me on the stream i had a lot of fun it was super hype i'm going to go ahead and set up that redirect right now and make sure to send pika po tons of love for me uh and there it is slime crime smp launch here we go save all right guys Thanks for being part of this stream today. It was a super fun one. I will catch you in the next one. Um, who knows what day I'm going to be streaming next, but just keep an eye out on my Discord if you want some updates. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next one. Bye, guys. See ya. Bye, everybody.